Hello YouTube! Today the official trailer for Bridgerton season 3 just dropped literally this morning and I thought perfect timing because I have been in the process of scavenging and hunting and trying to collect a vintage afternoon tea set because when um, Bridgerton season three actually comes out, which is in mid-May, I wanted to make an event out of it by having like an afternoon tea party slash Bridgerton watching event, right? And so I've been just sort of thrifting and hunting for like a lovely old fashioned tea set. So in this video, I am going to show you everything that I have gotten so far. Please keep watching. Welcome to No Sheen at Home, where I share my love of gardening, journaling, and home improvement projects. Please subscribe, give this video a like, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Okay, so I am I'm literally sitting on the floor right now. Um, the first item that I got, um, this is going to be an unboxing video mostly of like me looking at things for the first time, but this I actually got at a local thrift store, so it didn't come in a box. Um, so I've already seen this, but this is a vintage uh, sterling silver cream and sugar set. And I can you believe I paid $12 for this entire set? So I feel like that was such a steal. Um, it says here 733, right? So that tells me that this should be authentic sterling silver or at the very least like sterling silver plated. I don't know how old it is, um, but it is so super cute. It says Rogers on the back. I'm not familiar, William Rogers. I'm not familiar with this brand or anything, um, but I just thought it was adorable. Um, as you can see, there's some like, you know, tarnishing on the inside, which I kind of, I keep going back and forth about whether or not I want to try to like clean the tarnishing. So something that I do with silver sometimes is I'll like put it in like a an aluminum, um, foil lined bowl and then put like baking soda and hot water and that usually dissolves the tarnish and then you can just like rinse it and like pol polish it off so but I'm kind of going back and forth because I kind of feel like this look is also interesting like it just has this look of something old and worn and that's like maybe part of the charm so let me know in the comments if this were yours would you try to get the tarnish off or would you just use it as is and it's interesting because the outside is pretty pretty nice. It's just there's like tarnishing on the inside. So I don't know, I might just leave it alone. But I love that it comes in a little tray, right? And there's some etching design on the tray. 733 on the back, right? So this is sterling silver and it's gonna last forever. And it's so, so cute. There's the cr cream or the milk pitcher. And then this is for the sugar. So I love that. That's the first item that I thrifted and I feel like $12 was such a steal for that. Okay, so here is the second thing I bought and I bought this on eBay and I haven't opened it yet and it is, um, you know, secondhand. So let me, I'm not even gonna tell you what it is. Let me open it up and show you what it is. I'm so excited to see. I hope it is as good as it looked online. This was kind of a hard to find thing. Um, so I was really happy when I saw it on eBay. Okay. So a whole bunch of packaging. All right, I think this is all just, nope. It's all part of it. So, didn't know it was gonna come with so many different pieces. All right, that's like styrofoam. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, so bubble wrap. So that's part of it. I don't know if you guys want to hazard any guesses as to what this is, just based on the tray. 
does it say? Silver plated. It says silver plated, which is what the description sa said. So I knew it wasn't going to be like silver all the way through, but it's silver plated. By the way, I got this whole this whole thing for um, ten dollars on eBay plus shipping. Shipping was a little expensive. It was ten dollars to ship, so twenty dollars in total is what I paid. Um, but given that it was like a hard thing to find and I hadn't seen it in like any of my local thrift stores, I felt like it was worth it. So, so fun to literally open something up for the first time. Okay, here is the first piece little glass bowl. Okay. And then let's open up this. It's probably the other glass bowl. Can you guys see? Alright. Actually no. What is this? Oh. So there's a lid. This is probably both the lids. Yep. There's the other lid, also silver plated. Okay, so this is probably the other glass bowl. I appreciate the fact that it's well wrapped, but it's hard to get to. But it's better than it showing up in pieces, right? Okay. Okay. So, if you guys haven't guessed what this is yet, This is a vintage like set of jam jars or jelly jars. Um, and what you can do is you can put, if you're serving an afternoon tea with like scones, you can put like jam in one and clotted cream in the other. So I just think that is super cool and like not something you see every day. And just like this super old fashioned piece of serving ware. Oh, you know what, guys? I feel like I didn't get everything out. My bad. There's so much in here. It's like, I forgot what all the set came with. Oh my God, I barely get to. I can hear something jingling in here. I know there's something else in here. Here we go. Spoon, look at these tiny spoons. Oh my God, that's so cute. These are, these are considerably smaller than teaspoons. Like these are itty bitty. Look at that. Is, isn't that like the daintiest thing ever? Oh my God, that is so cute. So yeah, so you could serve afternoon tea and put like, I don't know, strawberry preserves in here, right? And some like clotted cream in there. Oop, and they each have little serving spoons. Oh my God. So this, I feel like I would try to polish, right? Do the baking soda thing because there's quite a bit of tarnish on here. Although I'm nervous, right? It's silver plated, not silver all the way. So I also don't want to damage it. I have to think about this. I'm going to read up on cleaning silver plated serving ware and like what's recommended. Or if you guys know, let me know in the comments because yeah, I am curious to know what I should do with it. Or you know what? There's also no harm in just leaving it like this. And it's just a vintage, you know, piece that's part of the charm. So it's so cute. Love that. Okay, so that was item number two.
So now I have a couple of things that I bought that are not thrifted. I just bought them from Amazon because they're like really inexpensive. Um, so I'll just show you because it's it's gonna be part of the, the whole afternoon tea setup. Um, I'll show you what they are. But again, these are um, not thrifted. So the first is this set of tea strainers. So cute, so cute. You can see there's like a silver theme going on so far. wishing I had bought like four of these now, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so you get this cute little tea strainer and then this is the drip bowl, right? And so I don't have a teacup in front of me, but what you would do is you would put, put this on top of the teacup, pour your tea, your loose tea from the teapot, and this would catch, you know, the tea leaves, right? And then you would, you know, remove it from your teacup and put it on the drip bowl so it doesn't make a mess all over the table. So super, super cute way of serving loose tea out of a teapot. Um, and like, yeah, these are these are really cheap to buy. Not not real silver or anything. They might be, they might be stainless steel, who knows? Um, but it works. And then another cheap thing I bought on Amazon were these little mini tongs. So they come in a set of three, I think they're like $6 for the set. Um, you know, not real silver obviously, but they have these this really cute um, like rose motif that I thought was nice and, you know, very old fashioned. And they are like sugar tongs, right? So if you have like your little, you know, let's get my sugar bowl, right? And you have little sugar cubes in there, you can get your sugar that way. Um, I thought they might also be used for like picking up tea sandwiches. You know, just like useful to have a dainty set of tongs for afternoon tea. Okay, so now I have what I'm probably the most excited about right now, and I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You'll, you'll figure it out when I open it. I'm trying to like cover up my address because y'all don't need to see that. Guys can't see anything right now, right? Okay. So a whole bunch of styrofoam, unfortunately. Um, you know what? Let me deal with this off camera and I will be right back. I managed to get the item out of the box. I really hate it when things are packed in styrofoam. It is just not environmentally friendly and I wish people would stop doing that. But anyway, um, okay, so I bought this on Etsy. Um, this was a little more expensive. Um, I want to say I paid like a little over $50 for this. However, when you see what it is, I'm hoping you'll think it was worth the money. And you, you might already be able to guess what it is just from that. So, It's breakable. It is really well wrapped. I appreciate that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm already seeing a peek of it and it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm so excited. Okay, all right. Ah, it's three separate pieces, great. Okay, so yeah, I'm sure you guys have guessed at this point what this is. Um, you know what, let me get scissors so that I'm not like accidentally scratching the porcelain. Oh my God, stop, it's so pretty. 
So this is a vintage three-tiered cake stand. And it is by a company called Syracuse China, um, which was an American fine china company that um, I think they were they operated from like the 1880s up until like the early part of the century, I want to say somewhere in the mid-2000s they went out of business. But um, and it, they're based here in Syracuse, New York. Well, I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in Brooklyn, New York, but you know, they're based here in my state, um, upstate in Syracuse, New York. And um, they were like pretty much the best manufacturer of, of like bone china in the United States for the longest time. And this particular design is called, I believe it's called a Victoria. And it was made in the mid 20th century from like the 1950s through the 1970s. So I don't know exactly like what year this particular one was made, but it would have been somewhere in that 20 year period. Um, and I just think it's so beautiful. It's just, it's just, it's very simple. It's a pink rose, you know, little, little roses on the, on the border and little bit of um, gold trimming. It's an ivory color. And it says right here, Syracuse, China, made in America. Uh, and I just think it's so, it's just so cool. <laughs> and these are not terrible. Like I said, I paid a little over $50 for this because it is, you know, a larger thing. But it's, it's not a terribly expensive thing to buy. They're not super rare. They're not like, you know, certain pieces of Royal Albert China that are, you know, like really collectible and expensive. These are like pretty affordable. Um, but so beautiful, right? And I would much rather spend the 50 on a well-made like piece of vintage china, right? Than like something you know, that you would get in a store now, which is not gonna be the same quality. Like how, how gorgeous is that? So beautiful. The last one. I'm trying to be really careful not to break it. Oh my gosh. So, like I said, I got this from a seller on Etsy. So, this is the bottom tray. Oh, it's so beautiful. And they all say Syracuse, China. I mean, there's like a hole there, but you can see Victoria is the name of the pattern, federal shape. Syracuse, China, made in America. Love it, and I love how there's the, like a little um, sort of fluting along the edges there, rather than it just being um, a smooth circle. And I love how the gold trim hasn't worn off, really at all. Like it is in really good condition. No chips, no cracks, so beautiful and so so there's your tiered tray, which I have to assemble, obviously. Whoop. Oh my gosh. These are the um, pieces to assemble it. And I am probably not gonna do that right now because it's gonna take me a little while to figure out how to do it. These are just, I mean, they might be gold plated, but they're probably not. They're probably like brass plated, I don't know. They're probably like brass plated. Right, which is fine. So there's the pieces there. This is the top. See how pretty that is. And then I need to figure out how to put it together with the screws and washers. Ooh. Hopefully it's not too difficult. I may have my husband help me. Um, so pretty. So, so pretty, right? And so for traditional like English afternoon tea, right, with a three-tiered server, you would do like finger sandwiches on the bottom tier, scones or scones, however you say it, on the second tier, right, with the jam and clotted cream on the side. And then you would do on the top tier like little cakes or petit fours or, you know, like little macarons, something like a sweet thing. So anyway, that... That is so, so nice. I'm really, really happy. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with these. So pretty. So here is the three-tiered cake stand assembled. 
and I am so happy with it. It is so, so pretty. Uh, the top tier is pretty small, but you know, it should be able to fit like some little like cake bites or cookies and things. That's for the scones. This is for sandwiches. Love the pink rose pattern. I'm so happy with this. So this is the last item that I'm going to be unboxing. So I just opened up the box. I'm actually having to hold my camera, so I'm trying to figure out where to put my camera so you guys can actually see me do this because I need both hands. Okay, hopefully you guys can see a little bit better now. But, okay, so excited about this. I'm sure you can guess what these are. And feel free to fast forward if you don't wanna watch me unwrap all this bubble wrap. Because this is in real time with minimal editing. There it is. Can y'all see that? Look at that gorgeous teacup. So this is the same set. It's the Syracuse China Victoria pattern with the pink rose. I love how the rose is on the inside of the cup and it is so dainty. And there's some gold trim on the inside rim and then little pink roses on the outside. And right there it says, Federal Shape Syracuse China Made in America. And it's a gorgeous ivory color. And I absolutely love it. How sweet, how sweet is that teacup? So I bought four of them. I went ahead and unwrapped the other three uh, teacups because I figured it was too boring for you guys to watch me do that. Um, but yeah, so beautiful set of four of the Syracuse China tea cups. They all are in such good condition. Like the gold leaf is still intact. There are no chips, there are no cracks. And I just love how the rose is on the inside. I love that. It is so pretty and dainty. And so now I'm going to unwrap the saucers. I do appreciate the fact that everything is wrapped very securely, but it does make it very tedious to unwrap. Oh my God, love it. Okay, here's the saucer. It is even prettier in person than it was online. I got these on Etsy as well, but from a different seller than the seller that had the um, cake stand. So it's funny because it's, you know, it's, it's the same collection, but you know, I just, I had to look in different places to get a matching set. So I love the rose. I love the pink rose so much right in the center. Syracuse China made in America. That is so pretty. Look at that. All right. So let me unwrap the rest of those. Here are the four saucers. No chips, no cracks. Super, super cute. A perfectly matching set. And then the teacups go on top. Sorry, my foot is in the video. I'm <laughs> like sitting here, crisscross applesauce on the floor. Um, yeah, isn't that cute? Love that. That is adorable. Okay, but there's more. There is more. So we're, we're down to the bottom of the box here. know what to do with all this box. 
bubble wrap. Do you guys reuse bubble wrap? I usually just end up throwing it out and I feel like that is so wasteful, but so much of it. So this is the salad plate. And I believe it is, I want to say six and a half inches. Is it or is it eight and a half inches? You know what? I don't know. It's a standard size salad plate. And I, <clears throat> excuse me, went back and forth about what size plate to get for an afternoon tea. And I've read different opinions on it. So some people say to get the smallest plate in a china service, which is like a bread and butter plate, which would be smaller than this and just slightly bigger than a teacup saucer. But I also read some people say it's perfectly fine to get a salad plate which also fits, you know, very nicely. It's clearly bigger than the saucer, but not like huge. Um, but that way you just have more room to put food on. You know, you can put, you know, more than a couple sandwiches on here um, and just have plenty of room, but it's still not as large as a dinner plate. So I opted for the salad plate. I thought that was a good size. And I got four of these. So four perfectly gorgeous salad plates. I love that. And then you can see how it looks with the teacup and saucer on top. Very dainty, very sweet. People who collect these, um, people who collect fine china will call this a trio, like where you have a teacup, saucer, and then a plate. So, and sometimes you can just buy like just one trio like this as a set um, and people collect different patterns and have like mismatched teacups um, which is a kind of a fun cottage core thing to do um, it's just to have a whole bunch of these trios and different patterns um, but I went ahead and got um, a matching set of four in terms of what they cost so I got all of this from the same seller the uh, the four teacups and saucers were twenty dollars for all four, which I thought was great. And then the four salad plates were also $20. Um, so that was $40 for the items and then it was another $20 for shipping. So, which, you know, I get it. I mean, shipping something fragile like this is a little more expensive. And, and I do appreciate the fact that everything was packaged very well. Nothing arrived damaged, nothing arrived broken. So I feel like for $60, it's like not bad. You know, like, would you be able to buy this brand new? For sixty dollars, maybe, but it would be like really like cheap quality. You know, it wouldn't be fine bone china, and it certainly wouldn't be vintage mid century fine bone china. So I feel like I'm very happy. I'm very happy with my purchase. Here is everything that I thrifted, guys: the three tiered cake stand, the four teacups and saucers, the four salad plates, the silver cream and sugar set and the silver plated like jam jar set, which I'm gonna put jam and clotted cream in. And I just think it is gonna be so adorable for like a Bridgerton themed tea party. So I know you're thinking, uh, no Sheen, are you forgetting something? There's no teapot, right? So um, obviously you can't serve afternoon tea without a teapot. I did buy a teapot, but it is not vintage. It's not thrifted. I actually have been eyeing this specific Emma Bridgerton, sorry, Emma Bridgerton, Emma Bridgewater um, teapot. It's from her uh, Roses All My Roses All My Life collection, I think it's called. Um, and Emma Bridgewater recently had a sale online, so I did order that teapot from there. It hasn't arrived yet, and I didn't want to like wait to upload this video because you know the Bridgerton trailer premiered today, and that felt like an occasion worth, worth marking. So I'm just um, gonna go ahead and upload this video and I'll probably do a follow-up when the teapot arrives. In fact, I may even do, fingers crossed, I may do a whole video of me preparing like the afternoon tea with the sandwiches and scones and stuff. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know and uh, please subscribe so you don't miss it. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care.